Forget the three episode rule, which anime had you hooked from the first episode? For me, Hanasaki Roha had the perfect first episode. It's a high school family workplace romantic and also comedic drama that in a single episode tells you everything you need to know about the show and its characters. You've got our spunky, likable main character Ohana who's seen cooking, cleaning, and frankly babysitting her spunky, likable, and simultaneously horrible mother who runs away with her boyfriend to escape from death and ships Ohana to live in her grandmother's ryokan, aka traditional Japanese inn. Upon hearing that they're going long distance, Ohana's only friend decides that now is a good time to tell her that he loves her, and boom, Ohana lands at the end, immediately makes a new friend, <laughs> meets her grandmother and finds out that she's been basically sent into indentured servitude. And I personally really like this premise, but it's not one that inherently stands out from Yo Mama getting chomped on by a titan and Yakuza Maid Cafe Gang Wars. <laughs> But damn, have I never seen a more 12 out of 10 first episode. Every single line of dialogue feels like it says something meaningful while still raising just as many questions. Why is Ohana's mother such a woman child? How is this undefined long distance relationship going to work out? What the fuck is wrong with Minchi? Why is her grandmother such a bitch? And how is she going to deal with her new life not being the fairy tale she thought it'd be? And while all this is happening, the show is putting on some of the crispiest yet simultaneously most subtle animation I've ever seen. It's got that hyper-realistic feel of a chainsaw man, but the attitude and expressiveness of a Bochi the Rock or Steinsgate while never really overshadowing the actual story. There's never not something moving on the screen in some interesting way, and the overall experience feels like playing games on 120 FPS for the first time. I personally like to think that with new tools, larger fan bases, and more budget, <gasps> <laughs> oh, let's go. Animation is something that's only going to keep getting better, but damn, if this animation from 2011 didn't make me nostalgic for squealing about Dragon Ball Z abridged on the bus ride home from middle school. And even though the show didn't deliver on its initial ideas the way I hoped it would, which is to say that instead of some deeply moving story about the nature of work, family, and love, it was a solid 8 out of 10 slice of life with a wide variety of well explored and likable characters, with the occasional overdramatic argument about fucking Omurice. The animation itself never let me down, I'm gonna let you down and was an absolute banger from start to finish. Which sounds like a weird way to describe animation that's just a character moving their eyeballs in a funny way or subtle changes in facial expression, but man, did these small details really bring the characters to life for me. Instead of a show I needed to get the beer, popcorn, and perfect viewing environment out for, it was a show I could just put on anywhere at any time and just enjoy watching people live life with an animation style that felt lost to time. A show I could just flip on while cooking lunch or laying awake at night wondering what the fuck happened to my day. And even if it didn't live up to my sky-high initial expectations, I don't think I'll ever forget the magic spell this first episode cast on me. A spell that, even to the end, still kept some of that magic. Now get the hell out of here.